our object for the lesson was to give the students more of a hands-on, project-based learning uh, lesson to give them a feel of the engineering, architecture kind of uh, professions. Now the thing, go ahead and skip it. Summary of the project. Um, it lists that I'm 10 and 12 on the program, but I actually teach the sixth grade, uh, the sixth grade academy of Spanish middle school. So we're doing a STEM unit that we designed. It was hands on thing. What I wanted to do is get all the students to design their houses, not their dream houses, like Lobby says, but their actual houses they live in now. And we had to blueprint them. We had 3D. Uh, uh, we had to scale our models, and at the end, we 3D model our houses. Now, what that consists of is you put all of your AutoCAD stuff in, see the printer, and it actually spits out your house. It actually gives you the model and you have to construct your house, so you get a mini representation. Now, uh, it focuses on three different aspects of the student The main three being uh, technology, engineering, mathematics. The project took a total of two weeks. It's kind of a faster timeline than most people think, but in our school, we have time allotted in our day for extra uh, project-based learning activities. So I took the time and used my math time and that time during the day, so I got two hours a day of work on this. Now, uh, how the lesson lines with the technical content, math obviously, um, formulas for finding the area and the space, of 2D and 3D shapes, scale of the drawings, the models, uh, geometric principles using ratios, science engineering using CAD software. It was different to see the kids have to work with something hands-on before they just kind of see it on paper and they had to scale their numbers. When they actually physically had to make something, um, kind of messed with them. It's cool to see them think like that. Now, the process that was completed during this was more student intensive. The good thing for teachers is to do a lesson like this, it's kind of hands off with teachers. Now, the things the students had to first do, um, we had to actually 3D model on paper. So they had to make an actual blueprint of their house, great measurements. Now, not to the interest in areas and areas like that, but a good representation of their house. Then we had to do the math, scale it down 25 to 1 ratio, because it's kind of hard to 3D print it. Now, uh, the program we use is called SketchUp Make. If anyone wants to use that, it's a free CAD software. Um, you can use the Pro version for about 30 days free. After that, it kind of scales down. Still lets you have full functionality. Um, it took me a few, a few hours to get the students kind of hands on getting used to the program. But once they got used to it, they just took off. Now, the main problem that I had was that the technology. This is completely technology based. In my classroom, we don't have paper. We use laptops every day for everything. And so getting the CAD software on all of the computers and making them run at all times was really the only headache I really had. Um, like I said, after a few hours of showing the kids what to do, they kind of took over. Now, 3D printing is a little difficult. It's a little panicky. So like I said, the large problem is the technology. But uh, the only other thing that I had to do as a teacher was kind of step in. So you give them a project, they take off, and the only time the teacher can even talk to the students, related to the students, is when they need that little bit of help and they're kind of stuck just a little bit. Like I said, we didn't do our dream homes. We kind of just did our regular homes. So we have some students in nice houses. Some people, this scale, they said they do a single wide trailer. Um, it was really awesome for me. Is that, like I said, I showed them the basics. I showed them how to use the walls. I showed them how to make the roofs. I showed them how to do this stuff. And before I knew it, kids were uh, landscaping. They had 
the pools in their house that they had, um, they figured out in this slide that you can actually take down your walls and they were designing their interior. They were building living rooms. They were building dining rooms. Um, I looked at one kid one day and he had a glass of water so he didn't get paid. They just kind of took over and something that I simply asked for outside, you know, outside of their house, they built a process. There was some pictures there of what 3D print comes out as. 3D printer, um, like I said, it's kind of finicky, but what it does is you put all your things in and it spits out the objects that you created. One thing they don't tell you, the way they'll change one, is that if you try to build a house, you have to build the walls, and then build the house. So that's one thing, one of our projects we didn't learn about. But here's some pictures of the students. They were working in the CAD uh, programs. One cool thing to see was, and you see most of these sides, if one person knew something, they picked it up. So probably based learning is happening all the time. One thing, if you see the boy in the bottom right, um, when it's time to do the video printing, when it's time to actually see the results, the kids get so into it, they, you have to kind of push them away from the printer. Those things get really hot, but those kids will put their nose right up to it. They want to see what's going on. They like seeing what's being produced. Now, um, closing notes, like Ms. Grace was saying, I still have some kids using the CAD program. We stopped using it in our lesson. But um, one of their comments was, it's like Minecraft for adults. After we got done with the lesson, I still find kids all the time sitting on AutoCAD and designing, doing this architecture and engineering. But to them, it's like they're playing. Um, it shocked me one day, I was walking through class, and one of my young boys, he said, are we going to work any today? As a teacher, you're like, whoa, we are working. But to him, he said, no, I feel like I'm playing more than I'm working right now. So he was having fun there. Uh, they were also more engaged. Like I said, um, it was very tricky at times, especially with all the technology involved. Just like she was talking about when the grant didn't come in. Well, when the technology doesn't work, when it's a full technology lesson, your lesson dies. Um, so we had to figure out some ways around that. But it was fully worth it in the end. All the students were engaged. Um, I, said, I wish I had more things to show you about the student work and what they created. Because it's amazing what, um, I got 10 year olds and 11 year olds in my class. And they actually have a 3D representation of exactly what their house is inside and out. Um, Do anybody have any questions about anything I've talked about? Yes. Um, it's called SketchUp. If you just Google SketchUp, it'll come up SketchUp Pro. Go ahead and download it. It gives you a 30-day free trial of that. Once the SketchUp Pro goes away, SketchUp Make will take over. And while you cannot um, do some more of the advanced things and bring some of the templates in, you can still do all the things that you would need to do, like build your own things. You just use the templates from their website.